Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 6th, okay? So keep in mind that the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you. I decided that I'm going to go back and forth with the cards and my face, okay, for a little while. So what do we have for a message today? What do we have for right around the six? What do we have for right around the six? Nine of Wands reverse. So Nine of Wands reverse may be somebody that has been avoiding challenge or they're great. They have some sort of great personal fear, distrust. There's somebody here that doesn't trust. They've been hurt. They've been hurt really, really badly. Okay? Some sort of, um, may have, may have some sort of guard up. Ooh. Ooh. Ten of Swords. Now that is definitely painful. So somebody is suffering. They're suffering. They've, they're, they're really, 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 really suffering. This could be the end. I mean, this could definitely be, this is, this is like goodbye. This is like, this is like a death, right? It is. I mean, if you take a look at this, this is the end. And this is giving up. This is like giving up. The upright, it's like persevering, you know, holding out. I'm not sure if we do have somebody that has really reached the end, okay? Um, definitely that could be the case. Chariot, going someplace, taking a ride, digging the high road, you know, getting in the driver's seat, taking the reins, going somewhere, taking charge, getting behind the wheel. We may have somebody here that's getting behind the wheel. They're going somewhere. Oh, look at that. I don't even know how it happened, but it flipped right over. Happens a lot. Um, now, the Three of Wands reverse may be unprepared. We may have somebody here that is very disappointed or uh, they left or they did something without thinking. They wish they could go back. Um, there could be somebody that is coming back. You know, they left, they they did made a decision to, to go someplace and they now they're coming back. Somebody could be coming back. Um, oh, goodness gracious, three of wands reversed. This is not seeing the opportunities. I feel like we have somebody here that has missed an opportunity. Now they may want to go back, but I'm not sure if it's too late. It could be. It could be too late with the Ten of Swords. Uh, now this flipped. It flipped. So somebody may be flipping. You know, they may be flipping, uh, wishing they could go back. Or they may be coming back. Five of Swords reversed. Now, this is I just want to be happy. I feel like we have somebody here that has been wanting to prove themselves. You know, they've been wanting to prove that they are right. This could be all-out war. It could be an extreme battle. You know, this could be the battle that ends all battles. Okay, this could be a serious battle. The extreme, extreme. Um, five of Swords reversed. I need to get another card. Ooh, we may have somebody here that's doing something illegal. I'm not sure if there's some sort of illegal dealings here or uh, instability, mental instability. We may have somebody here that's mentally unstable. They may even be paranoid, you know. I see distrust. I see giving up, um, hurting, in a lot of pain, suffering, unstable, insecure. Something isn't working out. We have somebody here that... Uh, has been avoiding challenge. They they have been extremely challenged, especially in their finances. Uh, this person has been tra trying to prove their value, trying to prove their worth. Uh, there's been a lot of conflict. There's been a lot of fighting. There's been a lot of suffering, okay? We have somebody here who's really been in their ego. They've been... Uh, protecting themselves from being hurt so they've you know this is somebody who has not wanted to uh let their guard down it's like i have to beat i this is i have to beat i have to beat the enemy at all costs because they were hurt so bad in the past i feel like we have somebody here that has been through some sort of trauma and now they're in an aggressive 
state of mind, you know, a aggressive protection mode of some sort. You know, it's hard to explain. But I feel like we have somebody here that is very uh, insecure, unstable, um, maybe even mentally unstable at this point. We may have a breaking point. We may absolutely have a breaking point with that Ten of Swords. This is getting in the car, going someplace, taking charge. There could definitely be an argument or a fight or somebody, there could be a conflict that is ending. Maybe somebody had some sort of barrier up. They had their guard up. They were protecting themselves and now they're letting go of their ego. Somebody could be letting go of their ego with this card, but I'm not sure. Let me get another card here. The end of suffering. The Ten of Swords is the end, okay? It really is. <laughs> No, I'm not. I'm sorry. I do have a cold. Uh, mainly one of the reasons why I decided to do it this way. Um, Ten of Swords. This is a battle. This is a battle. This is a serious battle. This is the end of a battle. It's the end of a conflict. There's some sort of selfishness here, or maybe even unfaithfulness, or in or. Lack of integrity. So, somebody's doing something. I don't know if they're even... There's crime. There could definitely be some criminal behavior here. Ooh, nine of swords reversed. Giving deep thought. Very stressed out. Anxious. Anxious. Worried. Um, having regrets. I'm wondering if somebody has is having some regrets. They may be having some regrets. And they're angry. They're angry. We may have somebody here that is angry. They're suffering. They're hurting. Wanting to prove. Somebody wants to prove their skills, their leadership skills. They want to prove their point. They want to prove that they're the boss. They want to prove that they're in control. Ooh, a Hierophant reversed. Now, the Hierophant reversed is a disgrace. This is a disgrace, not very spiritual. We have a relationship that's not on the same page. We have somebody here that is being controlled. They're being controlled by society or by a father figure. They're having a hard time doing the right thing. They may not believe. They may not believe in themselves. They may not believe in a higher power. They may not have any conscience, no moral conscience. I feel like there's somebody that is doing, there could be some crime or illegal activities that are happening. Um, the Hierophant reverse is a lack of faith, no faith. So there's some sort of, uh, maybe no trust, no faith and trust. Um, breaking rules. I feel like we have somebody here that, uh, I don't know if they, they like, they, they, they like some, this is somebody that struggles a lot with, Winning. They want to prove themselves. We definitely have somebody here that is in their ego. They're extremely stressed out, unstable, insecure. No. Okay. They're having a hard time doing the right thing because of social pressure. Angry. Angry with that nine of wands. Okay. We, the nine of wands reverse. Angry about all that life has thrown at them. Reaching for my finger. That's too funny. Anyhow, um, you're okay. Strength card reversed. So that's weak. You may have somebody here that's sick. You know, um, they're sick, they're weak, or they're coward. This it could be cowardly behavior. Okay? It could be cowardly behavior. Um, Definitely ego. Somebody maybe they may have been in their ego. Maybe maybe they're they've reached a breaking point. There's some sort of fear here. But this is replacing that fear with faith and going somewhere. I mean strength reversed is low self-esteem, you know, uh feeling inadequate. And we may have somebody here that feels inadequate inadequate. They may feel like they're not good enough. 
um, ex extremely worried, extremely stressed out. Maybe we may even have somebody here that is fearful of commitment. You may have letting guard down. Somebody may be letting their guard down. They haven't been practical. They've been fighting. They've been uh, resisting. Extremely stressed out. Having a hard time sleeping. Reaching a breaking point. Going someplace. Travel. We have some travel here. There's... We, um, hmm. Nope. King of Cups just flipped over in my hand. King of Cups. So this is following the heart, looking for love, looking for a relationship, expressing feelings. Somebody could that left or that had turned their back on another person may be coming back. They may be coming back around. Maybe they have some extreme regrets. They were in their ego. You know, they were controlled by social pressure or society or, or something like that. Maybe even something about an institution because that's the Hierophant can represent institutions. So I'm wondering if we have somebody here that was just real. We definitely have a lot of regrets here. We do. I'm sorry. We have a lot of regrets. We had somebody here that is really regretting their behavior. They're regretting some. Maybe they abuse somebody or something like that. Um, but this is getting in the driver's seat, taking taking the reins, taking the lead, uh, replacing that fear with faith, acting on feelings, expressing feelings. Oh, ooh. Moon reversed. Death reversed and the Page of Cups reversed. So all is not as it seems. Something is about to be revealed. Something, some hidden feelings. Maybe you have somebody here that's really in their feelings. They're really in their emotions. They've reached a breaking point. Holding on is getting old. There could be some unfinished business here. Um, I feel like we have somebody here that is really, really sad. There could be a rejection. Maybe somebody... Um, has rejected another person. Maybe they've missed an opportunity. There could be, I don't know, maybe there's an apology here. I mean, I hate to say that because mo many people don't apologize. Um, King of Cups, expressing feelings, has good intentions, has missed an opportunity. Uh, taking charge with that chariot. Moon reversed, reality check, expressing the, the truth coming out, coming out of hiding. Um, there's been some sort of stagnation. There's been some sort of delay. It's not over yet. Page of Cups in, in the reverse is feelings, lack of emotion, or emotions all over the place. I feel like we have somebody here that, I don't know, maybe they were obsessed with their image or they were obsessed with themselves or they didn't love themselves. I feel like there's a, there's some sort of, I don't know, new feelings or something about feelings, something about love with that King of Cups. There may even be like a sad farewell here. I mean, there could be a sad farewell. We may have somebody that's in an unrequited love situation right now. I mean, the Page of Cups reversed and the moon is secrets, lies, deception. It is. Somebody may have been even hiding their feelings. Somebody's, I feel like we do have somebody here that's been hiding their feelings. But this is this is uh, taking the reins, you know, taking charge, uh, dealing with opposition. This is the end. It's the end of a painful situation. This is the end of suffering. I don't know if we have an arrival here. We may have an arrival or somebody that... Mm, what is this? Three of Wands reversed. They didn't see, they didn't see, they didn't see, they didn't, this is like a lack of foresight. They didn't see something, they didn't see with their heart, or they didn't listen to their heart, or something like that. 
because they wanted to prove something. Somebody wanted to prove a point. They wanted to prove that they were in control. They wanted to prove that they were the boss. Ego. Right here. This may be the end of ego. The end of ego. So somebody's maybe letting go of their ego. Um, one more card. Following the heart. We have somebody here that's going to be following their heart. Their heart is speaking to them. Justice. Acting with integrity, doing the right thing, making a fair and just decision. So we do have somebody here that's going to be speak. They're going to be acting on their feelings. They're going to be speaking some truth. I do believe there's some sort of truth that is about to be revealed. This is a decision, making a fair and just decision. We may have somebody here that is unprepared. They're unprepared to hear the truth. Here comes some truth. Somebody is following their heart. They're making a decision to follow their heart. Okay, they're making, this is a heartfelt gesture. Doing the right thing, acting with integrity. Maybe, I feel like we have somebody here that has missed an opportunity. They may have let somebody go. They may want them to come back or they're going back or they're going to, something like that. This is like a failed, you know, they failed to see. They failed to see something. Failed to see the truth. Ah, here comes the truth. This is the truth. This is the truth, okay? So there is going to be a conversation. We have somebody here that is uh, going to be acting with integrity, making a decision. This is a person. There could be even news of legalities that are coming up. I'm not sure if we have somebody here that is getting themselves into a new contract. I don't know. I mean, we definitely have legalities here. Um, we also have karma. So I'm not sure if there's some sort of karma that is involved, but... This is a challenging conversation. Somebody is going to be having a conversation with another person. It's very authentic. It's very truthful. This person is going to be speaking, communicating from the heart. Communicating their in intentions from the heart. Queen of Pentacles on the bottom. So the Queen of Pentacles is a hard worker. This is a businesswoman. Somebody that is a homemaker. This is a decorator. This is somebody that is very devoted. Devoted to her home. Devoted to her children. Devoted to her business. Um, abundant. Fertile. It's definitely a fertile time. Uh, um... We have somebody here that has an opportunity for stability and security. This is a hard worker. So I feel like she has a golden opportunity in her hand. She has something secure and stable and solid. So anyhow, I do believe we have an, we have um, we have an individual that has been in their ego. They have been uh, not listening to their heart, hiding their feelings. They've been trying to prove trying to prove something. They've been extremely stressed out. They've been giving deep thought, giving deep thought to their actions, giving deep thought to a relationship. Uh, they may have been in an unrequited love commitment to prove a point, to prove a point to somebody else, maybe even to themselves. There's been a lack of courage. There's been a lack, there's been some cowardly behavior because of pride, because of ego. This is the end, okay? It's the end of ego. It's the end of suffering. We have somebody here that has reached a breaking point. There's going to be movement, okay? There is going to be movement. I think, feel like you are unprepared or somebody's unprepared. Everything's going to turn out as it should. There's going to be a realignment of some sort. Somebody is making a decision, a fair and just decision based on the facts and based on their heart. This is, this is an intuition. This is a decision that is being made based on the truth and based on the heart because there's heart, there's feelings, and there's truth. So this is going to be a heartfelt uh authentic truthful conversation okay um you may be unprepared for it 
um, this chariot is somebody maybe even be traveling. There could be a distance. There may be somebody here that is at a distance that is arriving. Maybe they've been distant. They've just been distant. You know, they've been distant. Um, maybe they're coming back around with some sort of emotional truth. Good luck. <laughs>